What is a mystery number? A mystery number is a number that can be expressed as the sum of two numbers and those two numbers should be the reverse of each other like 121. 121 can be expressed as the sum of 29 and 92 and 29 and 92 are the reverse of each other. Hello and welcome to Knowledge Circle everyone and uh, today we will see a Java program to check whether a number given by user is a mystery number or not. So as we have discussed in the beginning only what is a mystery number so we will start the code. So let's begin the program quickly. Let's start the first line the very first line of the program import java util.scanner then the class name will be created after the creation of the class see actually we have to check the uh, we have to reverse the number that's why I am declaring here a method for reversing that is a uh, static method I am declaring a static method and uh, return type of the, of the method is integer and the name of the method is reverse it will accept one argument that is an integer argument and here I'm declaring uh, in, an integer variable r to store the reverse and here we'll run the loop. The motto of using loop is here to extract the digit of that number. Here it should be not n, it should be m, n u m num. So the digit will be extracted and then that digit will be multiplied. That will be added to the uh, 10 times of the, the variable r. It should be r, r equal to r into 10 plus d and here the number will be divided by 10 so num is equal to num divided by 10 so this is the code of reverse which is very uh, frequently used in many programs that is not a new thing for us okay so at the end of this uh, method the r where the reverse of the number is stored will be returned so basically the task of this method this user defined method is to return the reverse of the passed argument okay now i'll begin the main function public static void main Okay, after the main function, what we are going to do, we'll create the object of scanner class so that we can take input from user. So quickly, let's create the scanner uh, class object. And then after we'll provide a message to user to enter a number. The number will be given by the user, we'll store in a variable. So let's quickly uh, write the message using the print method of system class, enter a number. Okay, so as the user will see the message, user will try to enter a value. So we'll receive that uh, input from user and we'll store in the variable n using the uh, next anti method of scanner class. Okay, after that, uh, what we are going to do, we'll run a for loop here. Okay, and uh, the loop will begin from one and it will go lesser than the number. So we are going to do what? Whatever the number is given by the user. So whatever the current value of i will be, Suppose first time i is 1, so we'll reverse that uh, the value. Okay, whatever the current value of i is, that will be reversed and stored in a uh, new variable j. Okay, so that's why we have declared a, a, our ev method to reverse. That is a static method, so no object is required here. So what I'm going to do here, I'll declare a counter variable, which I will keep initially 0. If i plus j is equal to n, if means that if the current value of i and the reverse of the i both and the uh, sum of the i and j is equal to the number itself then the value of c will increased by 1 okay there are uh, it is possible that there can be more pairs of reverse number whose sum is equal to that number so that's why we have written here condition if the value of c is greater than 0 then the message should be printed mystery number else it should remain not a mystery number okay so this is our program here i'll close the main and here i'll close the class and let's uh, compile the program program is successfully compiled right click void main enter a number let's enter a number i'll enter here 543 not a mystery number let's recompile and re-execute let's try to give a value which is a mystery number like 121 it's a mystery number